Hey everybody, one of Weezum here. We have unboxed Power Punch Pet Pack and Excellent Weed Rupture tonight. They're both set up uh, to go and be introduced into the Skylanders Trap Team Blind playthrough. Stay tuned for that. I guess we can kind of move everybody in now. Uh, feel back in the voids. That said, we are left with one item. It is the... Maybe the most Easterish, I guess. Excellent Wii Rupture obviously kind of takes the place of Springtime Trigger Happy from last year. But this is the Earth Trap. <laughs> if you think, wait, that looks so weird. What is up with it? It's got the Easter Bunny attached to it. Um, I think I've had someone tell me that it comes off. We're going to find out because I am going to open this. Uh, who will I put in here? I'm thinking the evolved form of the Golden Queen. Uh, it turns out I've got plenty of Earth Traps. <laughs> And uh, I think I could probably double up Grave Clobber too. Um, then again, I do. I don't know. I'll figure it all out. But I'm thinking uh, Golden Queen should be pretty cool. If I like, I don't know what her evolve form is going to look like. But I'm going to stick it in this, and that way I'll always know. So uh, this should be available at Toys R Us tomorrow. I'm thinking Sunday at Best Buy, the 27th at GameStop. It could drop at any of them earlier than that, later than that. Walmart and Target. Who knows they could be available now. Bottom line, this stuff, if you don't see it, it is coming very, very soon. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. And obviously the intent here, this makes a great Easter gift. Uh, you can set it in if you like to give the kids maybe a uh, basket uh, on the table before they go hunt. It has like some cool big stuff that would melt or something out in the sun. Uh, this is a perfect gift for that. If you are worried, maybe you live in Arizona or somewhere warm all the time and you're like, everything melts this wouldn't uh, provided the kids find it pretty quick so uh that said you can actually set it out like this if you want to go for more of a challenge i will show you what you can do once we've opened it up uh something i really like here is the bottom label note the jagged cuts it makes it look like realistic grass you've got some easter eggs hidden in there and it transitions nicely into the background uh the main primary color here is kind of like a brownie yellowy orange earthen tone if you will on the back side uh, this is a trap promo, the way the traps work. You place it into the portal, you capture the villain, and then you can play as the said villain. Right here, shameless plug for the other limited edition spring packaging creatures. Power Punch, Pet Vac, Excellent Wii Rupture, and of course, the Earth Trap. So, traps compatible with Trap Team. Hopefully, moving forward, it has functionality. It will be a great travesty if that's not the case. I have to tell you... These are a little bit different of a beast to open. The good news, this one doesn't have a sticker sheet or stat card with it as best I know. And that means if you tear into this, you're not going to run the risk of tearing anything. Excellent Wii Rupture and uh, Power Punch Pet Back. This area right here, we would be hitting the sticker sheet. And, uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to tear something up before you've actually intended to. So keep that in mind if you're unboxing those guys. That said, if I could get my fingers in here, we could slide him out, possibly. Uh, these are a whole different animal. There we go. Not the prettiest unboxing, but hey, if you want to use this for your storage cases or maybe some trap system you've got set up, go ahead and cut that or cut the tape here. Uh, the way this works, this springs off, and then this piece right here, you see that kind of little square piece and the accompanying one down below. If you just actually loosen that, you can chuck that to the side, and this is your setup. Uh, you can reseat that. What you can do, a simple way to do things, if you actually open it up, you want a little bit more of a challenge for whoever you're hiding stuff from, take this, kind of secure it like so, and then just flip that over in the grass or in the flower bed, wherever it may be. Uh, sometimes you hide stuff like a patio furniture or something. And then whoever is finding stuff will see this and be like, wow, and they'll grab this and wonder what's inside, and then they'll turn it over. And it's like, oh my gosh, the Easter Bunny's awesome. <laughs> and, uh, then they can go capture an Earth villain. Now, the good news is these should stick out like a sore thumb, number one, because of the packaging, and number two, because it is not a life or water trap. That's how you can also find Red Hot Tussle Sprout. But uh, that said, you go ahead and open this guy up. Will he fit like that? Not really. But if you wanted to, you could leave him in this clear piece. Stick that down in the grass or the flower bed or the dirt, whatever you want to do, and then just kind of throw that over the top. No one's going to see what it is. And then when they come and they pick this up, it's, you know, excitement ensues. You know the drill. So, he might be a beast to get out of here. The others definitely were. Um, I'm going to try to do it. All right, so what I did right here, I don't know if you saw it, but I just came in and I used my thumb to actually free him. 
from the plastic and we can now slide that out this works as a pretty decent frisbee if you're so inclined but this is the trap it's actually kind of heavy it seems heavier than rock you roll to me for some reason uh let's see here somebody said i don't think it does come apart maybe i misunderstood what they had said anyway uh, this is based i think kind of on like the upside down or topsy turvy dude i never did get like official names Alright, so it was the SD card there that filled up on us, but I believe we're to the point where we're actually taking a look at the trap. Here it is, it's got the standard, don't have one handy here on the pool table, actually I do. Uh, one second. Alright. So here's a standard earth element trap. Uh, I think this was the Rock Hawk is the actual trap name if I'm remembering correctly. So that gives you an idea. The bottom end is pretty much identical. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't colored if they thought it would be cooler this way or it's kind of like it's in dirt and that's the surface area. Not quite sure but uh, the bottom end is basically the same. Obviously it needs to be somewhat similar so it can be red and to actually function in the game. The rabbit portion itself, you kind of got the pink uh, nose that stands out, the black eyes. Uh, and then, of course, up top, you kind of got some pink there. I think you can pick it out uh, right there, that part that looks white. There we go. You can see the pink now <laughs> with a shadow on it. That part that's a little darker or looks white when my hand is not shading it. That's actually just like a crease, you know, like the midpoint, if you will. Uh, if you stand it upside down, it also looks kind of like an insidious little crazy rabbit. So that's kind of a perk there. But uh, whatever you want to make of it, I'm not quite sure how to describe it. Uh, any better than I am just other than letting you see it yourself and uh, the colors we can kind of see the eyes there again pink on the nose pink on top of the ears kind of would have been cool I guess if a little pink was there but then I guess their thoughts were if somebody does turn it upside down uh, that would kind of be off so uh, that said it sort of looks like kind of like a minecraft type rabbit if you will not necessarily the real rabbits but if somebody had a rabbit skin i say that just because kind of it's got like the blockhead uh, which again i believe is based on the upside down or topsy-turvy guy again i don't know the names for sure it was never sent out but uh I don't have one of those. I've never even seen one, so I can't possibly compare it to anything. But I believe it is also kind of tied in with that, so that kind of constraints what they could do. Obviously, they don't want to make like a three-dimensional rabbit head just for a one-off trap, if you will. So this was a clever tie-in, if it indeed does match up with what uh, that trap would be. Again, I wish I had one and I could confirm that before I ever opened it. But like I said, I have never seen one. So the good news is the chaos traps, again, they are coming back in the trip pack form uh, I think the single pack form is supposed to be back still in limited quantities but they've been touting it I don't think they would build people up to disappoint everyone in that manner so that's good news hopefully what I'm getting at for everyone else and again this is part of the reason why I caution people to get the dark edition at the beginning um, my thoughts are if they're gonna do that hopefully even if it's not brand new way for traps with the swords and everything maybe just some of the tougher to find uh, trap surface again or if you're in the boat where perhaps you haven't I don't know maybe you got the game at Christmas or your birthday was January February early March type situation there's a good chance you don't have anything to trap someone with outside of the starter pack and the light and water stuff which means you're missing out on a ton of stuff uh, so my hope is that this traps kind of restock and if you're just going in all you care about in tech is crankcase and you want the you know hand sculpt or you want to just pick out a few of your favorites ideally you would have that available to you so uh that said it is what it is hopefully uh stock refills on the traps but this is the easter bunny trap the earth trap whatever you want to call it and again it's kind of a cool deal because it really does double uh, you can kind of see where you would have like the rabbit if I cover up, you know, everything there for you. Uh, it does look like a rabbit and on the flip side, that also kind of looks like a really mischievous rabbit. So it's kind of one of those, uh, you know, 90 degree, or I guess, yeah, no, 180 degree, what am I saying, uh, puzzles. 90 degrees would be here. Uh, that's just kind of an interesting angle. But so it's kind of one of those you know good guy bad guy type thing so uh pretty fun pretty unique i think people will enjoy it again if nothing else if you cannot find an earth trap these should be readily available and then you can have the excitement that is having chomp chest at your beck and call uh you could use it for grave clobber golden queen any of the earth villains tussle sprout whoever it may be so that said as always thanks for watching 
I will have links down below that will help you out, give you some pre-order options down there. Uh, you can check those out on the Skylander Club forum, skylanderclub.com. If you like what you see there, sign up. We would love to have you. My personal site, oneofweasdom.com. You can follow me on Twitch, where I live stream Skylander's Trap Team. Follow me on Twitter, whichever you prefer. Uh, you can like me on Facebook. Circle me on Google+. Plus. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Tell your friends to do the same. Make sure you are subscribed. And until next time, myself and the Easter Rabbit, we'll catch you later.